Yeah, well, I'm here. I'm here to start this little. Uh, I'm here to. Uh, what was I thinking? What did I say? Uh, wow, ooh. Okay, yeah, I'm here. Because I've got a gripe about Santa. Big gripe. Who likes Santa here? I hate Santa! Santa doesn't even exist! He doesn't exist! Do you understand that? You like Santa. Who, who here likes Santa? Yeah. Ah, I said Santa doesn't exist. How many y'all like somebody that doesn't exist? He's right there. Huh? He's right there. He's out here. No, Santa doesn't exist. Yeah, he does. It was a joke. It was a joke that my parents played on me as a child. They lied. They lied to me. That's right. How can you like Santa? He doesn't exist. How can you like your parents when they lie? Santa is nothing but a, just a consumeristic tool. He's like a pawn. I mean, at least Ronald McDonald only sells burgers for the McDonald's, you know? Santa's pimping everything. He's got no class. No class at all. Santa's got some serious, serious, serious problems. He's used in order to manipulate us, you know? Manipulate us. Get into our minds. He's getting into our minds. You understand? Hey, I'm not a Scrooge. I like America. I like money. Speed. Wait, Scrooge like money. I like, uh, I like happiness. Yeah, joy. Just don't like that or crazy music. I want to be a little old school. Yeah, now this is more of my style. La, 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 la. Zuzu, Zuzu. What are you trying to say here? I think you need to shut up. That's what I think I need to say. Uh, <laughs> what? Uh, I know oh I can say your say about me. Hey, God damn it! Hey! I'm gonna shut you down! Uh. You two! Get out of here! Hey! I'm taking on this puppeteer too! You're coming out here and making this shit work. Make that shit work! I'm here to tell y'all about the real origin of Santa Claus. Santa Claus comes from mushrooms. That's right. You should love Santa Claus because Santa Claus comes from mushrooms. Oh, 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 oh. oh you might not believe me. Oh, Santa, you say. Well, let me tell you, I've got proof. Right here, one slide back, please. Before we saw this beautiful Amanita muscaria mushroom, the fly agaric mushroom. That's right, it grows in Siberia. Anybody know why we bring the Christmas tree into the house and put red and white packages underneath of it? It's because of that mushroom right there. It grows in symbiotic relationship with the roots of the pine tree. The Christmas tree. Right? And where does that mushroom go? Well, it grows in Siberia. Well, and it's associated with little elves, just like me. I'm the big boss of the elves, right? Okay? So, in Siberia, they got these shamans, see? Oh, here's Santa Claus with a little elf, and she's got a basket. Okay, one more slide, please. Little boy with the basket, he's picking up the shrooms, right? It's for Christmas. Okay. And here's the lady, she's a shaman, she's in Siberia. And she likes these mushrooms to pick in her, her healing ceremony, okay? And so, when the shaman in Siberia after they take the uh, Amanita Muscaria, oh, St. Nicholas. See, wait, wait, don't go forward anymore. Okay. The shaman, she takes her mushrooms, right? And then she comes down through the chimney, just like me, into the hut where they're having their healing ceremony. It's true. And so, see, the czars of Russia and the Russian Orthodox Church used... St. Nicholas, the patron saint of Siberia, to replace the shaman 
so they could hold power over the people. Here he is, St. Nicholas, patron saint of Siberia. As you can see, he looks just like one of those mushrooms. I mean, come on, huh? Okay, next slide, please. Let's see, what? Can you see? Can you go one back, please? A little comparison. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, I'm seeing it. I am. Okay. Right. So, and the, red, the mushroom is also the favorite fruit of the reindeer. It really is the favorite food of the reindeer. The shaman has to get out there really fast in order to get there before the reindeer comes and eats the mushrooms up. It's true. Okay, so here's Jesus. Jesus is a mushroom. You might say, well, Santa, you're not even the reason for the season. Jesus is the reason for the season. And, and you'd be half right, because Jesus is really a mushroom too. Look at it. Okay, he's got the, you know, the fountain of life, right? Okay, red, mushroom shade, right? Virgin Mary, born of a virgin, coming up out of the ground, just like a... Like, it didn't come from anywhere, no seeds or anything. I mean, uh, Jesus, you know, he, he was, died, and he, he, he rose again, just like the mushroom does. He was, he was crucified on a cross, right? And, oh, here's Adam and Eve, the forbidden fruit. <laughs> we all remember that one, right? Okay, see? And there is Jesus, he's on the mushroom. Jesus is the mushroom way of, of life. He's going to die and come back, and, and then he'll give you the holy bread, and you'll see God, right? Okay. So, we have a beautiful Christmas place, a Christmas place setting uh, with the mushroom very prominently displayed. <laughs> okay, one more. Yes, there it is again. It's beautiful. I, I use it at home every, every uh, Thanksgiving or Christmas. Or, you know, and it you know, kind of looks like a penis, too, don't you think? Yeah. I, I think so. Uh, and as you can see, like a halo when it's upturned, like, you know, the halo, the whole halo thing. It comes from mushrooms, too, right? So, uh, it's obvious. Anyway, there's Buddha, Buddha with the mushroom, right? Buddha comes from mushrooms. It's not just me. It's not just Jesus. It's Buddha, too. And the Hindus, of course, obviously, where Buddha comes from. One more slide, please. You can see the, uh, getting back to our penis thing we had going on a minute ago. Uh, the penis with the mushroom cap uh, symbolizing the divine hermaphrodite of the mushroom. And of Santa Claus, the mushroom. <laughs> 